Hello, everybody. Rick here with another episode of Tegan's Guide to Witchery. Now, there has been an update. Let's go ahead and get some tunes going here so we can listen to something in the background. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, um, there has been an update. We are now at uh, 171, I think, on the update for the <clears throat> for the uh, the mod now. Uh, excuse me, drinking some coffee here. It is early morning. Anyway, it has added an additional button. This right here, uh, I will show you real quick. I have to start over because it's a change. So let's go ahead and create a single player world. Now, basically, all I'm doing is creating one called World. Now, this is the way you have to do it to be able to use. Um, her map <clears throat> excuse me so uh, structures let's see default it doesn't really matter on this because we're going to overload it or override it with a map so we're going to turn on sheets just in case we need them all right let's go ahead and create the world it shouldn't take too long hopefully Okay, now it's loaded, so let's back out of it. Now, after we create that world, what we do is we click Map Downloads. All right, and you see you got a uh, Guide to Witchery up late. Yep, so that's what we want. And then we're going to download and install the map. And it says here, you're about to download regional content. This will add chunks to an existing world, overriding anything in that location. When prompted to select a world to install in it, it in make sure that you select the world that this content is intended for and before you continue make sure you back up your world I'm not worried about that so anyway we are going to um, normally wouldn't have this option here it says re-download but it, you download the map okay let it download Okay, so it's unzipping it. You give it a few minutes to unzip here. Uh, how long it takes will depend on your computer, I guess. All right, so anyway, here's the options. This is the one we downloaded. This here is created. This is a saved world uh, by NEI. We want to add it to this one here, right? So you click at and you add it to the world. Okay, now it's done. So now we go back up here. We go here. We go here. And now the map that we has downloaded is included. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and take a look at the quest book real quick. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I forgot. This is a progression mod. I'm used to using the HQM, not the progression. Um, backpack. I can't remember. Let's see what the backpack's got in it. Uh, let's toss that in there. We'll keep our sword. Okay, well, that's fine. Progression mod. Uh, default is the tilt key. So, um, let's see what our theme is. This is this is fine. I kind of like this. Um, yeah, let's just stick with the standard light. Anyway, check out our quests. We got to go... Uh, you see a gravel path in front of you and decide to follow it to see where it leads. So, now something that uh, Tegan came into my uh, channel and uh, left me a comment about the lantern. I appreciate that. What you do is you highlight it and you press F. That turns it on. So, thank you very much. If you remember, I was having all kinds of problems trying to figure out how to turn it on. Anyways, follow the gravel path. I turned the brightness up. Normally I wouldn't play it this bright. Because I think this pack has hardcore darkness in it, but I'm not sure. But uh, I turned up the brightness so you guys could see. I know it's very dark on uh, on YouTube. Alright, so we are here, I believe. Yep. Whoa. 
What's hitting me? Oh, bad, bad wolfies. Well, it's not a good way to start, is it? There's another one over there. Well, we need to find some place to get in out of the... Mind if I borrow your house for a minute? <laughs> so anyway, detect. Oh, well, I wonder why it didn't detect it. Should have. Get back out there. All right, let's eat an apple. Oh, I don't need it. Okay, that's interesting. Didn't it? Oh, there it did. Okay, let's go back and see what else we got to do. Let's go find a sparse light from this building spills out from behind. I have drawn heavy curtains, a sign over the door. Creaking on the hinges sends Buildrath Mercantile. But before we do that, <clears throat> let's go inside. Take a nap. Make it daytime here. So, Folks, I want to borrow your bed for a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, well. la di da you don't like strangers, huh? I want to try something here. Uh, pardon me if this messes things up. I want to check. I want to try and get rid of the border. Oh, wow. Well. That isn't quite what I wanted to do, but okay. It took me back to full screen again, but that's all right. All right, let's go find Buildrath's Mercantile. Let me check my map here. Can't remember. Let's see here. What do we got here? Now, if I remember, maybe the quest thing tells me here. 104.68. And we are currently at X... 104.6... What? Oh, 104.695. So we're going the right way. Uh, another one. Fine, take that. Okay, we're going to be coming close. Well, we must have found it. Is this it? It is. Okay, let's go ahead and set ourselves a waypoint. Mercantile. Okay. Here we go. Let's go in here for a minute. What else we got? Oh no, we gotta go find that Mad Mary crazy lady. 108668. I think that was like right across the street, wasn't it? Or something like that. Um. Okay, here I think it is. Yeah, Mad Mary. Okay. Mad Mary. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Mad Mary. Right, isn't that our next uh, thingy here? <clears throat> All right. 
Uh, moaning sob floats through the steel gray streets, coloring your thoughts with sadness. The sounds flow from a dark two-story townhouse. Okay, so this is uh, three tasks. We've got the first one. And then we got to go out and speak to the woman to see what is the matter. Yeah, let's go listen to her cry. Up we go. Hello, Mary. Yeah, Ogre Truda. I told her to stay in the house. She's just a teenager. Gertruda ran away. She broke out of the house a week ago. Ogre Truda. Is that her doll you're holding? This is no ordinary doll. Made by Blinsky. Is no fun. Is no Blinsky. Perhaps I can help you find Gertruda. You are strong. Not strong enough. You need protection. I can show you how to protect yourself. Do you have an idea where she might go? I don't speak of it. First you must. First you need protection. Okay, what do I need to do? My oven is broken. It needs fixing. How will I... Never mind. What do you need? She needs a new oven. Mine is broken. He broke it. I haven't given me on months. Mumble, mumble. I like black ovens. Uh, okay, I'll return. Oh, Gertrude. Yeah, whatever. So, we need to go find... Uh, you spoke to a seemingly mad woman in a house whose daughter apparently ran away. You won't be able to help her unless you fix it by fixing her oven. Okay, so I think... Um, yeah, I believe we have to go make her an oven. So, see if we can find some iron. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a witch's oven, too. Uh, which is oven. You know, that's awful small, isn't it? Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, options, video settings. Let's change the scale to large. Yeah, I think you guys can see that better, can't you? I know I can. Anyway, I need one, two, three, four, five. And six is eleven. I need eleven pieces of iron. Let's take some coins. There's four right there. That's cool. Um Okay. Let's head outside. Guess we gotta go raid the houses. We don't wanna go in there though. Okay, let's try over here first, I guess. Uh, I'll take the coal. Ooh, the redstone will probably come in handy as well. Now, if this is clay, it is. Yeah, we'll take the clay because I know I'm going to need it later. Take the coins. Um, take the gold. Ooh, diamonds. We'll take those too. Nobody ever needs no. Gunpowder. We'll take the flint. I don't know if I need it or not. Oh, blaze rod. But we'll take it just in case. <clears throat> Alright, let's go around here and head into the house. If I can figure out how to get in. Got to be a door here somewhere. Well. Well, here's the path. So... Hi, who are you? Hello, stranger. We have plenty of rooms upstairs. You know what? That's going to have to be fixed. I can't take that. Um, let's put this up here in the corner. And we're going to turn that. Is it one? It makes it transparent? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hello, stranger. We have plenty of rank rooms upstairs. Okay. Oop. Sorry. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Get ourselves a room. Oop, not that way. That's the way out. Should be a sign here that says rooms. Oh, well, maybe not since the rooms aren't there. 
It's the bar. Or a sign, maybe a sign here it says, oh, it says bar? Okay, up. Oh. Never mind. Upstairs rooms. Welcome to the blood on the vine stranger. What can I get you? Sanity potion, mead. Saki. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want anything right now, sir, but I appreciate it. Um, it's a cauldron back there. Anyway, let's go up and get our room. Oops. And like normal, I think last time we played this, we took the VIP room. Wow, wait a minute. What's all the way up the top here? Oh, I like this one. Let's just use this one. Yeah, I think we'll just use this one. Uh, put the tongue there. Put the wolf's head on the wall, definitely. Boom. Okay. Iron will keep on us because we're going to need it. Um, doo -doo. Okay. <clears throat> That's good. We'll just take this room here. So. Now, let's go in here and see if we can find anything. Basically, what I'm looking for is... Let's take the food. And these. So we're going to need them anyway. Um, basically what I'm looking for is any iron. I know we're going to need a bucket, so we'll take that. Oh, and the pearls. Okay. Clay. There's two pieces of iron. We'll take the diamonds. Clay, gold. Uh, we need another piece of iron here. We got our six pieces of iron. Now we need six more. Ooh, golden apple. I'll take that. Clay, I'll take. Uh, we'll take some bread here. I know where I can get this kind of stuff if I need it. Only thing is, I'm not finding the iron that I need. That's what I need. I need some iron, as Miley would call it. Alright. Uh, I guess we gotta go out about... Oh, uh, well, actually, let's go up and get rid of some of the stuff that we just picked up. So get rid of these, get rid of that, get rid of that. Let's ditch those, ditch that, and ditch that. We'll keep the... Now we'll go ahead and toss the clay in as well. Okay. <clears throat> Is that stupid auto jump on? Go ahead and head outside. We gotta go searching for some more iron. I need uh, three more pieces of iron. Excuse me, six more pieces of iron. Uh, what do we got over here? I don't think I checked his. Uh, let's see. Take this, this, and this. Ta-da! Okay. 
Uh, those are just crafting tables. <clears throat> I'm going to end up needing one of those, but not just now. So let's head upstairs. It's kind of cool. I'll leave it there, though. I won't take his creeper yet. Hi. Don't cause no trouble. Get You gets no trouble. Uh, yes, sir. Actually, let's head back upstairs and take a nap because it is getting dark out there. And if I'm going to go searching around for uh, iron. Oh, excuse me. Coffee tastes good. Uh, I want to do it in the daytime. So. All right. So what do we got here? Uh, we already been there. Let's go around here. You know what? It's probably where the gravel path goes in. Yeah, we've been there. I see something in there. Nothing of interest there. Four pieces of iron. I'll take that. I'll take the blaze rod. Alright, well, there's an upstairs, so let's go upstairs. They did a very nice job on this map. I am doodly impressed. A lot of nice buildings and so on. Take the clay, take the bread. Come on, I only need two more pieces of iron. I'll take the gold. Two more pieces of iron, come on. Ah. Fine, don't give me any iron. Is that it? There's no more upstairs? No, it doesn't appear to be. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Lots of mushrooms. Alright. Well, that helped quite a bit. We need two more. Hi, Pipey. Got Piper rubbing around down by my legs. Alright, so that's Mad Mary. Let's go over this direction. We already been in there. Okay. Okay, that's some kind of essence. Well, let's go see what we have in here. Actually, I guess we need to go around this way because it's the gravel path is where the doors are. Oh, my. Whoa, man, he hit me hard. Wow. That flippin' hurt. How you do without the goofy heartbeat? That's kind of cute, though. All right, there's our iron. So, should I take a look upstairs? No, I look. Shouldn't take a look upstairs. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh no! I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Now I got to go back and get all my stuff. Oh, man. He kicked my butt. I knew all I need was one hit, and I was toast. Now, what? Oh, 
That's right, it's down here. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Okay. Now, where's my death point? Over there. First death of the day! See if I can get him to follow me outside. What? Where's my stuff? Oh, keep inventory must be on. Okay. That's cool. Alright, so... We have what we need. So let's get the heck out of here. Let's go make... Uh, actually, let's go ahead and get rid of the death point. Embarrassment number one. Remove. Done. Let's go ahead and head back over. That's Mad Mary. That's where we want to go. So we got to go make her, uh, make her, uh, her oven for her. So let's head up here and use her this. So we're going to go like this. And then we got one there and one there. And like that. Okay, we even actually have an extra piece. Quest handyman complete. Alright, very good. So, complete. And now I wonder where I'm supposed to put it. I wonder if I'm supposed to put it downstairs or what. Let's go back over here and talk to Mary again. Very good. Very crucial for protection. Against the darkness. Good, good. Place the oven downstairs. Make good meals again. Place fume funnels on the left, right, and top of the oven. Don't want to smoke us out. Alright, so they gave us some uh, fume funnels. So, I don't know. There's not a lot of room here, so let's try putting it... Um, Yeah, this, 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 this place needs to be a little bit bigger, or I need to be able... I don't know if I can knock stuff down or not, so I don't know. So let's go ahead and put it uh, right uh, there, I guess. Okay, and let's get the funnels. I'm going to put one on this side, one on this side, and one up above. Okay. All right, so we got that. Quest is completed. See, it's green now. So, next we're going to go ahead and, well, we got to go speak with Mary. I don't mind talking to her. I just wish she wasn't crying all the time, you know? All right, let's go talk with Mary. <laughs> now we need jars. She broke all of them. Need clay jars. Lots of clay jars. <laughs> I will be back. Just call me Terminator Rick. The Rickinator. Uh, actually... I need to use the crafting bench, don't I? Let's try something. I've never done this before, so let's see if I can do it this way. Oh, give me a break. No, you cannot do it like that. Oh my, you can't break them down either. Um, okay. Let me try something here. Let's take eight. Toss them in here. With a piece of coal. I thought you could break these down. Oh, uh, nope. I know what to do. My bad. Well, we'll let those cook up. What the heck. Alright, we gotta go down here and do this. I forgot. All right. Okay, it's still daylight outside, so what we'll do? So we got to do this, and then we got to go back and break them. And that'll give us clay balls. I forgot. So I may as well fix a bunch of these things because I know that I'm going to need them. Maybe two stacks. Because 
clay jars are definitely used for everything. Alright, so... Definitely gonna need more than that. Okay. Let's go back and break them now. And then after this, we will go. Wish I had a shovel. Anyway, after this, we will go. Actually, I probably could make one, couldn't I? And it's getting dark. Do not want to be outside when it's dark, so. We'll just leave the rest of that for a moment. Now that, I just ruined eight pieces of clay, but that's not a big deal. So that's how you make those. And we'll make a bunch of them. Okay, so that gives me a lot. Oh, I gotta go back to speak to Mary, probably. You're losing your patience. All right, well, wait a minute. Let's go back here and see. I can't use them. Take them to the oven and cook them. Okay. I have no coal. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Let's just drop them all in there, what the heck. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cook some of these up. And how many do I need? Okay, if you happen to come by, Tegan, one thing I would suggest is... Um, let me see here. If, uh, yeah, you might want to put in here in your comments how many to do unless I'm overlooking it um, so it doesn't tell you how many I need to do to complete the task so uh, if you just write in there uh, craft you know fire 8 or 16 or however many is needed so okay let's see Okay, well, we got to wait around for this. I wonder if she's got a bed where I can take a nap. Oh, she does. Good. All right, we'll go to sleep, and then we'll go down and get the rest of that while that stuff cooks. All righty. Let's go out here and get the rest of this. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and finish this little quest, <coughs> and we'll call our quits. Go ahead and break down all this uh, clay. I thought you'd fix the uh, Mad Mary continually crying like that no matter where you're at. But... Oh, well, maybe you did. She shut up. So let's go ahead, let's break up the rest of this. And then we got some more down here that we need to turn into clay balls. We'll go ahead and do that as well. And then uh, we'll go up there, we'll get those uh, clay jars. And we will call this one done. That is the last of the clay blocks, anyway.
If I had some sticks or something, I'd go ahead and make me a uh, shovel, but since we're almost done anyway. So anyway, after this, I'm going to go uh, go play my uh, with my new flight simulator airplane that my Susie got me. Uh, PMDG 737-600 and 700. So, I'm going to go fly it on uh, prepared 3D. How are we doing here? All right, so there we go. Completed it. Okay. Well, why didn't it tell me it says I completed it? Maybe I got to go back and talk to Mary again. All right, let's go back and talk to Mary. Good, now we can make jams. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. So let's go ahead and make some more jars. We're going to need all these jars anyway, so. Um, that's good enough. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and claim our reward. We should have got a chest, right? Is that what it was? Well, maybe not. Oh, I got the magical fertilizer. I don't see my chest. Maybe I didn't get a chest. Let's check my backpack. Nope, it's not in the backpack. Well, I could have swore I was supposed to get a chest. Isn't that what this is? Isn't that, wasn't I supposed to get the chest? Anyway, let's go down and knock down some wood. I want to get me a chest, actually. No, actually, I think there was one down here I could use, wasn't there? Yeah, right here. Oh, it's not very big. Okay. Put these all in there for now. That's where they're going to need to go anyway. Okay. I believe we are going to call it quits. Before we do any more. And then we got to go... Uh, got to go speak with Man Mare. Let's see what she wants now. No seeds. We need to gather more seeds or the darkness will consume us. Go into the fields and gather seeds and plant a nice little garden. Nice garden. Um, okay, well, I guess that means I need to go get some seeds. Which, of course, you get seeds by punching grass. So, what do we need? Belladonna, Mandrake, and Water, ch water Otter Choke. And Snow Bale and Wolf's Mane. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot about those things. Okay. Anyway, we are going to call it quits. I want to thank everybody for coming in. I'm going to give you a shock I hear. There we go. Thank you, Mahalo, for coming in. And uh, we'll see you next time around. Have a good day. Aloha.